Hello guys and welcome to Game Devout. Hi, my name is Manshu and today I am going to show you the famous DVD bouncing logo in Godot. Will it ever make it to the corner or not? Let's see. So instead of using DVD logo, I will be going to use that Godot logo. So I will show you one with the code and other one without the code. So without the code one uses rigid body and with the code one uses character body or in 3.4 or in version 3 it's called kinematic body so i am using godot 4.0 for this thing the things that i have created is uh, static body and the collision for the boundary for the world you can say and i also need the extra react and textured i can get this body and folder Let's go for the scale. So this is our background. And so one with the rigid body. So I've created a rigid body and don't look at this right now. And it has a collision and it has a sprite. So inside rigid body, what I did was to make the mouse as low as, as possible. Created a physics material with friction zero and bounce in S1. Guide scale is at zero, custom integrator on and what custom integrator do is it remove the internal forces or you can read that. So can slip off, it won't matter over here and inside linear velocity I have put the value to 100 and 100, damp mode replace, this is needed part, angular velocity to 2 if you want to, if you want it to get rotate I will show you in a moment and and damp mode replace so what to the world what I did is lock rotation right now so if I play right now you see it bounce off So what you saw is that it bounces off without any rotation. Now if I turn off the rotation, turn off the lock rotation, so it now rotates and after the collision it will rotate according to that. You see? You can increase the overall force over here. So it's kind of a free fall type thing but for the DVD rotation thing you can go for this so this thing is without the code and now let me show you the thing with the code so it's the character body 2d collision in this same thing as rigid body 2d so inside over here the code is simple basically I have created a variable called speed and then I'm creating a variable called velocity where I'm just using this speed to put the value in vector form and now inside the physics process function I am checking get last collision get last slight collision of character body 2d and then I am putting the last collision in variable and then I am using this bounce method uh, and getting the collision normal so basically it is bouncing or reflecting from the angle of collision from the point of collision or other way to do this thing is if it's on wall if it is colliding on a wall on a side then i'm using same bounce method and I am using wall normal instead of collision dot get normal and these both works kind of same and then I am putting the velocity to motion velocity and I am using move and slide to this whole function to work let me show you once without the collision 
without the this function you see and now with this thing it works same and now for the rest of you can add that thing according to um, your need you can add other images according to your need and over here i have created a banana i you using a banana sprite with collision polygon 2d basically a custom sprite and let's see how it looks now you get a banana bouncing so you can call this a bouncing banana now let's check it with the watermelon too i have also created a watermelon over here but simple shape collision you can create all this stuff by this easy method i hope you will have some fun while creating those stuff those bouncy stuff and please like and comment and i hope to see you in the next video thank you so much